Hello everyone and welcome to this new Minecraft video on the explanation of how to work my new one shot for the Ender Dragon in 1.12.2. So, one year ago I have made one design similar to this for the 1.17 and today I have done another design but in this case is for the 1.12.2 so the farm uh, is here is not a uh, big uh, is not bigger than the old version in the 1.17 but is only for the under dragon the endstone the obsidian I have made one small design but uh, we can talk of this uh, obsidian farm later in the video and a um, small farm of experience so let's start with the explanation so first uh, we can start with the TNT duplicator and I go to explain uh, how to work in my creative task world and I have done uh, a lot of um, one shot for the Ender Dragon. I have created, uh, I don't know, 10 design maybe. This was the first uh, design I have made, but it's very big uh, and uh, for some reason with more TNT than my uh, actual design. It can't kill the Ender Dragon with an arrow, so I've changed the design. Next, uh, we have uh, this first uh, attempt to make uh, one uh, one shot for the Ender Dragon, but uh, later uh, I can see it's not possible because there is a uh, no space for shoot an arrow from uh, this block. Here there is the second design after this, but uh, this is not working because the arrow, the arrow don't go straight, but go on the left. So I can't use this design because when I shot the arrow, go in this block. But I have made uh, a lot of design so I don't want to show you all the design I have made I have tried to make one design like the Enderpearl Cannon but it was, not po it was not possible I have tried to use the one shot the TNT duplicator of the of XCOM for try to make an acceleration with the TNT but uh, nothing nothing of all this design works so I have made uh, this and I go to explain how to work simply all uh, the TNT duper are synchronized so in the same game tick all the three parts of the TNT duper do the same things first uh, you can dupe uh, all this TNT and there are uh, nine modules for every side of this one shot. When the TNT go down, all the TNT arrive in the center of the TNT duper, and all the TNT arrive on the cobblestone wall. When the TNT arrive on top of the cobblestone wall, the system send an output, uh, no, an uh, input here to the conveyor belt, and the conveyor belt work in this way. First, these two blocks and these two cobblestone wall are retract, and these two at the same time this sticky piston and this line block are pushed over and uh, powered by the redstone 
In this way, you can make a very simple conveyor belt for the TNT. When the TNT arrive like here, here there is a one double piston extender. So this piston push this here. With this rust and dust, you can power this piston for align perfectly all the TNT duper. Um, so for these two sides are the same contraption but here I have made uh, something different because uh, here you can't do the same things because there is no space for made uh, um, another double piston extender um, similar to this so I have made uh, another with only two piston and two observer no, a tree observer and it's more compact than this but mm, really it's more slower because uh, you, uh, it needs uh, more game tick for expand this piston and push the TNT here there is one under stress because if I go to place one solid block here um, Uh, so you need to place one ender chest here and I have not found other blocks you can place um, maybe uh, you can place for example the anvil if you prefer but uh, here you need to place one block of glass or you can place the ender chest uh, there are more alternatives for this block, you can place uh, or the enchanting table but it is not very beautiful to see a, bo a floating book uh, here, so I prefer the under chest or the end part of frame but uh, not all people have in 1.12 the end part of frame so the under chest is better I have not found uh, other blocks uh, you can use. Maybe you can mind uh, why you don't use the furnace because uh, the, rest, the furnace is a conductor block, so I can't use the furnace. Um, so you can use uh, the, ch the chest or the under chest, yeah. You can use uh, all the type of an, of chest when the TNT arrive here there is this piston uh, and this piston push all the TNT here into the lava so you can use uh, this one shot in every dimension here is very complicated but really not when you go to shoot one arrow here in the arrow aligner go here before the arrow touch the ground the piston push the arrow in this corner and with this clock the piston push this block and try to attack attach the arrow in the uh, top corner um, there is a small but very very small uh, probability to don't attach the arrow on this corner it's very small but it's possible but uh, we can see later this uh, one shot uh, have uh, uh, some uh, problem with the Ender Dragon, so I got to explain why uh, uh, he have it have uh, some problem with the Ender Dragon later. So this is the very simple explanation. Oh yeah, um, for shoot the arrow, you you don't need to um, use a full powered bow because if you uh, 
shooter an arrow with uh, the maximum of the powder of, of the bow this happened the observer don't see the arrow so it's not work you need uh, to shoot an arrow like this uh, yes okay well, you can see there are a line into the corner so now we can back uh, in the other world so now we can go to see how the Ender, Ender Dragon works I have tried this farm for infinity times and sometimes there is the probability of the Ender Dragon are not killed because I don't know uh, I don't know so first why I have made this very very complicated design for uh, push the XP here because if you go to put uh, a very simple water stream here for transport the experience to another part of the world the Ender Dragon first break uh, all the ice uh, and the water and make a uh, disaster so no uh, and second the Ender Dragon spawn and immediately fly uh, in one direction and the arrow don't take the Ender Dragon so you can't one shot the Ender Dragon I have uh, tried for infinite times uh, to make a system with the water and the ice uh, but I have not found a uh, design so I have made uh, this simple block extender and uh, there is only one problem sometimes the experience uh, go on this blocks uh, on this block and now you can ask me ask me why here there is one block of Anson because the Ender Dragon uh, try to go on top the most high block as uh, zero zero and in this case uh, the most height block at zero zero is this block of Anson um, you can't place uh, other block because uh, the only blocks the Ender Dragon don't go to break are the uh, Obsidian, the Bedrock, the and all the creative blocks, the Endstone and the Iron Bars. And the Ender Chest, but uh, you can't use here the tile entities, so you need a full blocks, and for that you can't use the Iron Bars, because all these blocks uh, are not the Ender Dragon can't he uh, can't break because the spawn into the hand. So I have made I have placed here one block of endstone and here there are not other blocks. More most important under this endstone block you need to have all block of hair not other blocks if you go to place one other block like here when the ender dragon spawn you can't kill the ender dragon because the ender dragon try to fly in another direction and the ender dragon spawn and fly instantly in another direction and the arrow don't take the ender dragon so place the, the block of the endstone at the same coordinate you can see here the, uh, at this coordinate here there is a, there was a, a small problem uh, the experience uh, uh, fall down here on top of the slime and you lost uh, the experience because uh, 
when the slime goes straight here, the experience fall and go into the void. So I have placed uh, all this piston for push the experience before the slime block. Sometimes you can have some experience here or here, but you can make the same size them here or here if you want to have all the experience. And this uh, iron bars uh, if, is for prevented experience fall down. The cage for the Ender Dragon is very big because sometimes uh, the Ender Dragon try to go in this direction, uh, but the, under, the arrow hit the Ender Dragon and kill it. Uh, but uh, it's, there is a small probability the Ender Dragon move a little in this direction, so the experience uh, can go uh, outside and drop into the void, so I have prevent this. Now we can go into the endstone farm. So this design I have made one years ago for a endstone farm of 27,000 endstone for hour. But I have changed the endstone farm for made uh, this small endstone farm for the Ender Dragon. But you can use this design for the 27,000 endstone for hour. You need to make a little uh, modification on this design. First, you need to remove this redstone because uh, when you uh, use this farm, if you go to remove, uh, if you don't go to remove uh, this uh, redstone li uh, line all the time, uh, the TNT duper start uh, and you go to break uh, the TNT duper. There is another small problem. I have not tried to use the 27,000 endstone for hour with uh, this one shot, but uh, uh, the farm work uh, in this way. You need to place uh, three um, under crystal here and one here. You need to continuously place uh, the under crystal here every 13 game tick. You can use the carpet mod uh, oh, player with the carpet mod. You can use player, your nickname, use uh, interval of 13. Um, another problem with this farm, you can't place here the Ender Crystal very simple because in 1.12, when the piston retract, I got to show you, it's more complicated to explain than show. Well, you can see when the pistons are retracted, the player are push uh, a little bit higher. Oh, you can see I'm floating. Uh, okay. And the same do with the end crystal. But uh, if you do this with the end crystal, uh, then the crystal explode. So you break all the system. For prevent this, uh, you need to break uh, this bedrock block. Uh, you can use a dragon egg. Important place one block uh, under uh, if you use the, under, uh, the dragon eggs. And you need to place uh, one obsidian. Then you go to place the end crystal. And you need to break uh, the obsidian block. Now you can use a piston for push the 
uh, tender crystal a little a little bit uh, here and in this way the heat box is perfectly aligned with uh, the corner uh, with the with uh, the side of the bedrock and you need to do this uh, for this and this uh, and this side you don't need to do this in this side because you only need to place the ender crystal here and uh, here there is a TNT duper for break uh, the ender crystal the TNT go here into the water and go to break uh, the ender crystal um, for turn on the system for 27,000 and so for our you need to turn on this lever and the system start the TNT here go to bro break uh, all the handstone and uh, here or you can see there is a system for take the handstone and push the handstone down and here the TNT go to break uh, the end crystal when you go to place here uh, I have not tried and I don't want to try now because uh, if I go to try now probably I go to break the system uh, here I don't know I, I, I go to try um, Okay, I have tried, uh, you can see the TNT works, and not, don't, nothing happened. So you need only to remove this redstone line. Oh yeah, uh, before I have not uh, said that, uh, um, you can see the cage for the Ender Dragon are more higher then uh, the ender dragon the, ender dra the animation of the ender dragon arrive uh, like here but the cage are more higher and you need this higher i don't know why if you go to remove uh, for example this uh, three layer the ender dragon try to go in you know, every direction is a hell the Ender Dragon in this version is a hell. I have no idea why, but the Ender Dragon uh, is not stupid in this version than uh, in the new version. Um, there is a small probability in the other worlds uh, it doesn't work at first try. In the Extreme Craft uh, uh, we have made the design, uh, this farm, and at the first attempt, uh, it doesn't work. The other dragon are not hit by the arrow, and he fly away. I have reloaded the backup, and uh, the second att attempt, it work. So, it's more. Um, is uh, a farm for so you you need to make a backup before you use this farm now you can you can ask me why you don't take uh, the torch from here uh, because you can't in this version simply uh, every block uh, from uh, here to like uh, 13 blocks up are removed and so you can't place a piston here for uh, break uh, the torch so you can't make a torch of uh, a farm of torch. That uh, is useless. Uh, you you can make a uh, tree farm and uh, with a skeleton farm uh, you can make an infinite torch for hour. 
now we can pass into the new farm this is my obsidian farm a you can made uh, this uh, small wither cage uh, in every side uh, of every obsidian tower so here, here I, I have made one time but you can made every time you want uh, in all this and some pillar but uh, there is one little problem uh, you need to play to create uh, this uh, obsidian farm at this higher because uh, here all this block uh, are removed when uh, the respawn cycle start from uh, like uh, maybe here all the blocks uh, are not uh, removed so this farm i have tried this farm for a lot of times and it's completely safe here there is not a bow i don't know why there is not a boat i don't know why i go to oh here there is the boat okay uh, I have placed a uh, not good bow. Okay. Fix that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to work uh, this wither cage simply the wither try to hit uh, this villager but here you can place an iron golem if you prefer and here there are two ender crystal for don't kill uh, the, the villager I have uh, seen this design with the ender crystal by Rex works uh, and uh, the end farm made by Dark Shulker and Bisunto in uh, 1.15. And I have tried to make this in 1.12 and it worked. Uh, but uh, you need to place the villager in one block. Uh, less higher than uh, this true ender crystal because uh, it's possible if you go to place at the same higher the villager sometimes uh, the wither can kill the villager and go to break all the system here the wither the wither don't kill the villager As you can see All the Wither Skull uh, can't uh, kill the villager. The size stem is very simple. Here there is one observer for see when this uh, obsidian tower are um, regenerated. There is one little problem. I have not idea how to uh, fix this problem but uh, you need uh, all time uh, to go to break uh, these two obsidian blocks uh, because uh, he can the observer can't see the update uh, of the obsidian so uh, I have not idea how to explain but you need to break this through obsidian blocks every time or you can make a system with a cobblestone generator and when the cobblestone generator uh, no when the last uh, block of uh, cobblestone are broke uh, by the tower you can make a system so 
try try to make something more uh, easier I have no idea how so if you want to try you have uh, the download in the description with this uh, with, uh, obsidian farm and you can try to make something more easier than this uh, the farm works in this way you go to respawn the dragon and uh, here there is uh, this blocks for prevent the falling of the obsidian into the void and here um, one dispenser shoot a snowball for break the obsidian um, here you can see there is uh, only this problem the item on top of the cobblestone wall are not taken by the minecarts so here I have removed the cobblestone wall but uh, it's not completely safe to remove all this uh, true, block, true cobblestone wall there is the probability of the wither to go in one direction for and break this block for try to arrive to the villager you can try if you want uh, every time you take uh, 11 obsidian blocks anyway um, It's not completely safe. Uh, there is the possibility of break uh, the boat. Uh, there are the probability of uh, the chunk are not loaded. So when you load the chunk, uh, the boat uh, are loaded before the wither. So the boat, uh, the boat, the boat. Uh, falling down and the wither fly around uh, for kill uh, the villager uh, I don't know, I have tried this farm for a lot of times but uh, I'm not completely sure of use it all the farm with the wither are not completely safe you can try if you want um one last last one last things this farm is not very friendly with uh, the fps because uh, you need to use uh, a lot of minecarts with upper minecart or oh, you can see because uh, when you go to break uh, this block of obsidian the item falling here you need to take uh, these blocks uh, no these items so you need to place one minecart uh, with uh, a small part of the hitbox on top of this minecart on top of the, on top of the uh, upper and the same here you can see there's a minecart on top of the Upper and the same here. Uh, I don't want to make uh, a tutorial or how to place uh, all this uh, minecart with hopper because it's a hell. So uh, try. <laughs> but uh, I want to make a small tutorial now how to made this with our cage so really is very very simple you need uh, a small quantity of height of material so now you got to made uh, this uh, <laughs> cross with a solid block uh, in the center now you got to put place uh, the source in here now, uh, after the five block of eight, you go to place uh, 
what was our cobblestone wall? So three, four, five. So here. And now you need uh, a slab here. I'm going to place all that blocks. Now I'm going to place a, a solid block here. Take uh, the bow, the boat, uh, and place one boat here. I'm going to break uh, the block. Try to put uh, the boat inside the hole and do this uh, three times now you're going to place one slab here you can remove uh, this uh, uh, cover some wall now uh, in this case, I don't go to place a uh, Trender Crystal, um, but uh, if you want to make this in survival, uh, you need to have a Trender Crystal. You need to have a Trender Crystal Unbreakable. Uh, you can get uh, this Trender Crystal from here. When the respawn cycle starts, uh, you go to push. Uh, this ender crystal when uh, when the ender dragon are not uh, be spawned and so you can get uh, uh, unbreakable uh, ender crystal now here you go to take uh, the water and uh, skull go to place one water bucket here Wait uh, the explosion and uh, remove the water. Now you go to break this lab and you have uh, a completely safe uh, wither. I have uh, tried uh, another design, but you don't use this for the obsidian farm. Uh, you can uh, you can don't use a tree bow boat uh, but you can use uh, only a slab but uh, is for have uh, only a uh, weeder not for the obsidian farmer but uh, a friendly weeder So I show you how it really is very simple. Um, can see the reader don't move. And you can make a very simple design only with uh, a slab. For have uh, a wither more safe uh, you can place uh, uh, this, this uh, cobblestone wall around it. And this is all. Um, I have not made a farm for take down bars, but it's not difficult. You need only to push a TNT inside the iron bars, so you can make a very simple design. And here I go to show you a small demonstration how to use the farm. So I go to put that some here. I go to respond in the dragon. 
uh, folds. Um, yeah. Now I need to fly Elytra and shoot an arrow. The arrow are perfect in the corner. And now you need to wait uh, um, the, the kill of the Ender Dragon. But, uh, now I go to explain. When uh, uh, you start the farm, stay here in this area. Don't go here because uh, there is a prob So I have tried to stay here one time and uh, the entire system blow up. So stay here for load all the TNT. Very important. Well, you can see there is a small possibility to have a uh, experience here but it's useless there are not a, a lot of XP here in here we have uh, the handsome farm and it works perfectly and the obsidian farm the same I can see this way. Uh, okay. So, this is all for this video. I have made uh, one almost one hour of video. I don't know what is the final result, but. Uh, this is all for this episode is all thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye